Florida State wrapped up day one of the CCSA Conference Championships with a 5-0 win against South Carolina to move to 2-0 in pool play. Yeah, I think the first match was really close and um, the other team played really well, but we know we didn't play our best and we didn't communicate um, our best, so I kind of challenged the team to communicate a little bit more and talk and be just a little bit more aggressive, and um, they came out really strong, and I'm really proud of us. It's super important. I mean, it'll set the like momentum for the rest of the weekend, so it's great. We all came out strong today, so we're excited for the rest of the tournament. It's really important. This morning was kind of slow, and we kind of started had like a little bit of a rocky start, so it was definitely great to get back to how we, how we play and how we represent Florida State pretty well. It was very important. I know we had a little bit of a rough start going 3-2 and two with LSU, but we really came together and got our momentum back. It was important because we're showing the other teams like this is who we are. We are FSU. We came here to show our stuff and to not mess around. It's really important because you get to watch who you're going to play, and whereas you just have to get ready to play somebody kind of right away. So um, I think that's our goal right now is to win our pool and get that by. Well, we always go for it, but that definitely is a big factor. I mean, we're going to be working really hard to like, get that by. And... It's very important because, you know, we need to save our energy all that we can for the finals. So if we could get a by, we can be even more fresher. The Seminoles will return to the court on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. to take on UAB. A win would give the Knolls a bye into the semifinals beginning on Sunday. That'll wrap up things for now. LaneHurtSeminoles.com.